computer retractor. Where's Stan? There he is. Stan! Look! There you go, Charles. That will stop you getting sunburnt. Your turn now, George. Why is he rubbing sunblock on the pigs? He's gone daft. Maybe the heat's got to him. No, not Stan. Hello, you two. I didn't see you there. Are you OK? Never better. Are you sure you're OK? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I see. No, I know it looks strange, but I have to make sure my pigs don't get sunburnt. Pigs don't get sunburnt? Of course they do. Their skin is a lot like ours. Talking of which, you two had better put some of this on as well. Mum's already covered us in that stuff. You can never be too careful, especially when it's as hot as it is today. What are you going to do now? Yeah, and can we come and help? Sure. Now, what shall we do first? Patch up the barn roof, fix the leaking gutter... Oh, Stan! It's too hot to do that sort of thing. What about driving around on literary tractor? We'd be nice and cool in the trailer. I've got a better idea. What about going back to the farm and making some ice lollies? Great! Yeah! Oh, Stumpy! I wish you'd get off your backside and do something. I am doing something. I'm milling the corn. It's not my fault there's no wind to drive the mill. If there's no wind, surely you could be painting the bathroom instead. Oh, no, you see, else, if I were painting the bathroom, there's no way I could possibly get the milling done. Yes, but... but... oh, I give up. It's too hot to argue. <laughs> Nobody passing by my way Too hot to go, too hot to stay Nothing to see, nothing to do Oh, garage life on a sunny day Hi, Walter. Getting a bit of practice in? Yeah, but something ain't right. I've got no rock today. And for, and for a rock and roll man like me not to have any rock, well, well, I'm all roll. Perhaps it's just too hot to rock. Yeah, I like that, Stan. It's too hot to rock that gang of jungle. Wow, yeah, not bad. Think I'll shut up shop earlier today, see if Stumpy feels like jamming with me. Uh, before you do that, can we get some oranges and lemons from you? We're going to make fresh fruit ice lollies. Stan's going to show us how. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'll tell you what, you can have the fruit on the house if you make an extra lolly for me. It's a deal. Oh, marvellous. Is that my flower there, Stumpy? Nope. That's still your corn there. What? My, my, my corn? But why is it still corn and not flower? Wind. Wind? There isn't any. But... If the wind don't blow, then the sails don't go round. Yes, but you... If the sails don't go round, then the millstones don't turn. I know, but you... And if the millstones don't turn, then the corn don't get ground. Ah, oh, this is infuriating. There must be something you can do. No wind, no milling. Without the flour, I can't get my money from the bakery. Without the money from the bakery, I can't buy a new hat. Without the... Oh, listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Stumpy. There's no point getting all hot and bothered. Do like I do. Chill out. Chill out. Yeah, kick back. Relax. <laughs> right, here we go. I didn't think that making lollies would be as hard as this. It will all be worth it. What do we do now? First, add a little sugar to the lemon juice and then top up both the jugs with water. There we go. Is that it? That's it. So what do we do now? Now we wait. You know, it's really very rare that I do absolutely nothing. Even on my days off, I tend to go fishing. <laughs> but I have to say, this is marvellous. <laughs> oh, you can't beat milling on a windless day. Hello, fellas. What are you up to? We're milling. <laughs> Looks more like you're chilling than milling. <laughs> well, there's no wind, see? 
And milling is a slow process when there's no wind. Here, how do you fancy a spot of rehearsing then, Stumpy? Oh, no can do. If I'm busy rehearsing, I'll never get all that corn ground. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Well, in that case, I'll grab a deck chair and help you with the milling. Are the lollies ready yet? No, not yet. It's a shame Little Red Tractor can't eat lollies to help him cool down. He doesn't need lollies. When his engine is running, he has a big fan that blows fresh air onto him. That's what keeps him cool. But lollies taste nice. What about now, Stan? Are they ready now? Let's take a look. Yeah! Frozen solid. Great! Can I have a leather one? There you go. Mmm! I think that we may have made a few too many here. We could take some to Mum and Dad. And some to Stumpy and Elsie. Thanks. Mmm! I see it's too hot to rock down I see water. It's too hot to rock down 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 Water! Yeah? Can you keep it down? I'm trying to chill. Oh, sure! Yeah! No problema. It's just that I'm naturally quite noisy. It's like my old mum used to say. She used to say, Water, my son, you are the sunshine of my life. But <laughs> you don't half make a racket. Walter! <laughs> Sorry. Hello, you lot. Mum, Dad, we've got ice lollies. We've made them ourselves. We've actually made too many, so we were wondering if you two would like one. Oh, yes, please. Oh, oh you bet. What a great idea. I haven't had a lollipop in a long time. Lollipops are off the menu for an athlete such as myself. I was going to ask you about that. I couldn't help noticing that you're not exercising. Oh, I tried, believe you me. I don't like missing my daily exercise, but it's just too, too hot. Oh, I was overheating. Little Red Tractor has a big fan that keeps him cool. Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, <laughs> when someone invents a fan big enough to cool down the human body, you just let me know. In the meantime, I will just have to stick to lollipops and inactivity. We'd better get going. We've got a few more lollies to deliver before they melt. See you later! Yeah. Mmm, tasty. It was bad enough when I had one layabout. Now I've got three of them. Oh, Elsie, love, any chance of something cold to drink? It's roasting out here. You know where the kitchen is. Hmm, I'm not so sure he does. I've never actually seen him in there. Hello. What's going on here? I'm milling. But there's no wind. So, we're chilling. Oh, dear. And you with all the corn to mill, Stumpy. Never mind. There are always days like these. Can't be helped. <sighs> hmm. I think I may have an idea. If Little Red Tractor doesn't mind a bit of hard work, that is. Cool enough four, for you, two, Mr. Turvey. Lovely. <laughs> Although I am starting to work up a bit of a sweat now. Did you hear that, little red tractor? Oh, oh do slow down, little red tractor. Oh, I can hardly keep up. Well, I really think Stumpy should learn to chill out. <laughs> yeah, then he would be as cool as all of us. <laughs> No one could be as cool as Little Red Tractor. Yeah, he's the coolest. <laughs> Stumpy? Stumpy? Hi, Elsie. Is Stumpy around? <laughs> oh, he's around all right. He's supposed to be working, but he's nipped off to his den. <laughs> Brian and Amy have just gone round to find him. Hi, Stumpy. Mm, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, you two. What a great den. What are you doing here? Oh, this and that, you know. <laughs> I actually do most of my thinking in here. Sleeping more like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe we should make our own den. Yes! There are times when we all need a quiet place to ourselves. Stan! Stumpy's got a den! Has he now? Yeah! He does this mat in it. Oh, he does not a lot in it, if you ask me. 
We're going to make our own den. Will you and Little Red try to help us? No problem. I'll just get this corn unloaded. Well, it's, um, it, it's the weather, you see. People love walking about the countryside in the sunny weather. Footpaths, Walter. Eh? If they stick to the footpaths, there's no problem. Footpaths for ramblers, my land for, well, for me. Well, why don't you put up a few signs, you know, keep out, that sort of thing. Signs are no use. A patrol should do it and chase them off. Come on, Big Blue. Cheerio! Oh, sure, yeah. How about here? Perfect place for a den, if you ask me. Uh, It's nice and sunny, but it's a bit, you know... Open. We want somewhere more hidden away, really. Oh, OK, then. We'll find somewhere else. How about there? Too shady. This any better? Sorry, too damp. Any good? Too sunny. Well, I can only think of one more place. Come on, you ramblers, show your faces. <sighs> hmm. No sign of them here, Big Blue. Let's try over on the other side. This is great! Really? This is perfect! Brilliant! <laughs> We're going to need rugs and cushions and things to make it more cosy. Why don't you ask around? I'm sure people will let you have a few things. OK, but we mustn't tell anyone what the things are for. Mustn't we? No. It's a secret den. We can keep a secret, can't we, little red tractor? <laughs> Rambler's Den. Seen any? Morning, Mr Jones. Can't say I have, no. On patrol. Can't be too careful, can you? And what have you two got in there? Nothing. Just a few things. We're throwing them away. Good for you. Out with the old, in with the new. That's what I always say. See you later. Out with the old? Good thing some of us don't think like that, isn't it, little red tractor? There you go. What are you going to do with it? It's a secret, Nicola. Oh, right. Sorry, no problem. Hello, dear. What's that old rug for, then? We're not to ask, Dad. It's a secret. A secret, eh? Well, I can keep a secret. Thanks for helping us. It's really good. We'll leave you to it, then. Be in the yard if you need us. Come on. Not a rambler to be seen, Big Blue. Must know we're looking for them. Come on, then. Time to start some proper work. <laughs> ah. Ah. Ramblers, Big Blue, straight ahead, just as I thought. They do look a bit strange, though. We'd better warn Stan. Whoa! 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 Oh, look, there's Mr Jones. Do you think he spotted the den? I don't think so. He might have seen us, but he won't have seen the den. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You've got ramblers, Stan. Ramblers? Ramblers, strange people running about in strange clothes. Cloaks, shawls, that kind of thing. Cloaks and shawls? Oh, yes, I know who you mean. You do? Yes, they're, um, some people up from the village. Badger watchers. They're looking for badger sets. Well, they're not going to find any the way they're carrying on, shrieking and hollering. Got any more crates, Stan? Oh, oh, hello, Mr Jones. Uh, you know, for throwing away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where all this rubbish comes from. Just when things were going so well. Hold on. What's that rubbish doing there? Someone's been dumping rubbish on Stan's land. 
Or what is the world coming to? Come on, Rusty. Better go tell Stan the bad news. I wouldn't let them on my land. They're pests, trampling all over the crops. Here, Stan! You're not going to believe this, but someone's been dumping rubbish in the corner of Top Acre. Probably your badger people. Badger people? That's terrible, Walter. Thanks for telling me. I've got to go over to Stumpy's in a minute. I'll take a look. While you're at it, you'd better make sure those badger people aren't still raving about up there. I'll do that too. See you. Phew. Not easy keeping something a secret round here. It won't be long, Elsie. Just go to tell Stan his flare is ready. Why he can't use a phone like normal people, I'll never know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello again. Nice place you got here. It was. Everyone all right? Oh, yes, thanks. <laughs> you do look silly, Stumpy. Honestly, this is supposed to be a secret den. <laughs> Not much of a secret. Oh, you know what you can do? What? Stop trying to keep it a secret and have a grand opening. I bet everyone will leave you alone after that. Really? Well, it worked for me. Elsie's never been to my den since the grand opening. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I'll run round and spread the word. And while you two put the den back to rights, Little Red Tractor and I will fetch some drinks and biscuits. What do you say? You're, You're on. on. <laughs> Nearly ready. Well, I hope you've got a door to your den. Keep those badger people out. <laughs> hmm. Good point, Mr Jones. Oh! What if they're in there already? Oh, no! Oh, they wouldn't dare go into... Ha-ha! It's a badger! It's OK, Mr Jones. It's me. Ah, well, oh, oh, oh. oh. Yes, of course, it's, it's you. Oh, no. Afraid I misled you earlier. I was trying to keep a secret. There are no badger watchers round here. It was Ryan and Amy all along. We were getting stuff for our den. Hmm. Oh, yes, 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 I knew that. Yes, I was in on the joke, too. Just playing along, you see. <laughs> there. Ready? Yep. We, we now declare our secret den open! open. I hope this works, Little Red Tractor. If it does, it will take all the back-breaking work out of planting potatoes. Hiya! Hi, Stan. What are you doing? Hello, you two. You're just in time for a demonstration. Are you ready, Little Red Tractor? all over your farmyard. This was just a test. We're going up to Spud Field later, where the potatoes will fall into the furrows we've ploughed. That's really clever. Stan? Yes? These potatoes are kind of funny looking. These are seed potatoes for planting. Can't you eat them? Well, not yet, but it doesn't take them long to grow into eating potatoes. So, can you paint with them? Paint with them? Mum was going to show us how to do potato printing. But she's well out of potatoes. I'm sure I don't know. You can take some and give them a try. Thanks, Stan. Thanks. See ya. See you later. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and get these potatoes planted. Mister! <laughs> Come on, is that your best shot? <laughs> 
<laughs> Morning, Mr. Jones. Getting in a spot of exercise. Good to see. Good to see. Ah, yes. I'm testing out my new tennis machine. With its help. It will not be long before I am top of the league at the tennis club. <laughs> Never got into tennis myself. Running's my game. Born to run, which reminds me. Cramp. Must get going. Can't have the muscles cooling down. Danger of cramp. Got to keep moving. Quite. Must run. Hmm. I guess I really should get on too. Oh, if only there was an easier way to plant potatoes. Ah, oof! That's it. I think I have just had a brilliant idea. That's it, little red tractor. Nice and straight. This is taking no time at all. At this rate, we'll be finished before lunch. Oh, what on earth? A potato? Hello, Mr. Turvey. Oh, hi, Stumpy. Looks like the same thing happened to me as happened to you, struck by a potato. Potato? Kind of funny looking. Hmm. Oh, just my luck. As soon as we get called out to a breakdown, we get a flat tire. Don't worry, big fella. We'll have you fixed up in no time. What was that? A potato. A potato? Yeah, a potato. A spud of tatty. I know what a potato is, Dad. I'm just surprised someone's throwing them at us. Throwing them? You mean, you mean we're under attack? Hello. What's going on? Potatoes. Eh? Potatoes, Stan. Someone's been throwing potatoes at us. They're seed potatoes. Oh, I thought they were kind of funny looking. They're like the ones I gave to Ryan and Amy. But I can't believe that they would be throwing them at people. No, not my kids. No, but perhaps they know where these have come from. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and ask. See you later. That's See you. you. Still not quite right. Hmm. That's got it. Oh, yes, that should do the trick. May as well give it a full test. Ah, that's not right. Hello, Stan. I owe my painting. I was about to ask if you knew anything about these flying potatoes. But you obviously don't. Where are they coming from? I don't know. But I think we should get inside. It's getting dangerous out here. Come on, little red tractor. Let's see if we can find out what's going on. Almost there. There's it, girl. You got it. <laughs> Still got a little of the old magic. <laughs> Just give me a little more time to get this wheel back on. I can't believe we're getting pelted with potatoes. Someone's got it in for us. Wah! <laughs> Still not quite right. Ah, what the? Some fool is throwing potatoes at me. Ah, I'm being attacked. Hey, Ice. Here, I'd take cover if I were you. Nicola and I are under attack. If it's any consolation, everyone's under attack. It's not just the garage. Potatoes are flying all over the village. Nice dodge, little red tractor. Right, that does it. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. All done. Good work, Nicola. I'd better get off to that breakdown. I'll keep guard here. How about that? Good stop, little red tractor. That was close. I wonder what this is all about. Where's Mr. Jones? Ah! Mr. Jones? Stan? What are you doing? Hiding, of course. Some fool is throwing potatoes at me. I think that fool is you, Mr. Jones. What? This, um... um 
this thing. Ah, you mean my projectile potato planter? It takes the back-breaking work out of planting potatoes, you know. Well, it seems that it's been shooting potatoes all over the village. It's caused chaos. Oh. Um... Ouch! Did you see that? That... That will be Walter defending the garage. He's been batting the potatoes back all day. He doesn't know they're coming from you. Oh. So it's, um... It's definitely my fault, then. Yes. I think I may have been a bit... Silly. Hmm. I was only trying to make potato planting a little easier. Well, we've done ours, so why don't Little Red Tractor and I give you a hand? You... you'll help me? Sure. On two conditions. Anything. You have to load the potatoes into our machine. Absolutely. I said anything, anything at all. You just have to ask. And you have to go round to everyone and tell them that you were responsible for the potatoes today. Oh, do I have to? Yes, or we don't help you. Mm. All right. <laughs> Mr. Jones, more potatoes, please. No, oh, this is ridiculous. Why do I have to do all the heavy work? Hurry up, Mr. Jones. Put your back into it. Those potatoes won't plant themselves. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Little Red Tractor. Planting potatoes has never been easier. Oh, my back. Here we go. I think this is the trouble. Hold still, Little Red Tractor. If I loosen the alternator and shift it down... That's got it. I think we'd better get down to the garage and get a new fan belt, just in case. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Hello, Mr Jones. Morning. That's well timed. I'm ready to get started on Big Blue straight away. Marvellous. Oh, and don't forget, Nicola, after the service, he needs a jolly good spruce up. No problem. Needs to look tip-top so I can get the best price possible. Best price? Eh, you're not thinking of selling him, are you? Precisely. I'm getting a new one. What? You can't. I can. Now, looky here. It's the latest model, the 501. And Big Blue's a great tractor. And he's more than just a tractor. He's part of our community. It's the 501. It's like selling a friend. What if we sold you, Mr Jones? We wouldn't get much. Oh, I should have guessed you wouldn't understand. I mean, just look at this place. It's avoided progress for years. Now, hold on. You have to move with the times. And talking about moving, I must get on. I say, any chance of a lift home? Hmm? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Jones. Where's Big Blue? Hello, Stan. No, he's at the garage, getting a spruce up ready for tomorrow. It's all rather exciting, actually. Why, what's happening to Big Blue tomorrow? Getting rid. <sighs> You're getting rid of Big Blue? Yes. Look, it's the latest model, the 501. Oh, Big Blue's a good tractor. He's almost new. Oh, never mind. I should have realised, given the age of your old tractor, that you wouldn't understand. Look, I'm in a bit of a rush, and... Any chance of a lift? No? Don't worry, big guy. We won't let him sell you. Hello, you two. Hi. I guess you've heard the news. We can't let him do it, Stan. I know, but Big Blue is Mr Jones's tractor after all. If only we could make Mr Jones realise what a special tractor he's got. That's it. Walter, 
You're a genius. I've been telling you that for years. <laughs> I've got a plan, but we're going to need everyone's help. Are you in? Yep. You betcha. <laughs> What's the plan, Stan? Walter, you need to hide Sparky, then hide yourself. We'll pretend you're out on a job and... Genius! Oh, wow! Oh. Hmm. Look, thanks for coming, Stumpy. There's not much I can do on my own without Big Blue. Where is he today? Um, he's... I don't want to make Stumpy mad at me, too. I need his help. Um, well, he's on holiday. Holiday? Yes, um, a tractor holiday with other tractors. Oh, it's all right for some. <laughs> right, what do you want doing? Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> right, um, thought we'd start with the ploughing. I reckon this will be the perfect spot to put our plan into action. It should be nice and safe. Hardly anyone comes up here anymore. Hmm. That log may be a bit too heavy. Well, OK, let's give it a go. It will certainly be more of a challenge when Big Blue gets here. That should do it, Stumpy. Right, yo. <laughs> Chop! Oh, it's no good. It's not budging. I do believe Big Blue would have had half the field ploughed by now. Hmm. Well, I guess you won't be needing our help anymore then. So we'll get off home and. Uh, no, 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 no. Of course I need your help. I know. What if we raise the plough? That way it won't be dragging along the ground. Oh, good idea. There. Uh, Mr. Jones? Yes? Don't think that's helped. <sighs> no. Here we go. A brand new air filter. Right, I'm off to put my part of the plan into action. Off to hide Sparky. What a plan! Oh, don't worry. Stan's plans never fail. There we go. OK, little red tractor. Get ready. Now, heave! Come on, little red tractor! Well done! Great job! All we have to do now is get Mr Jones. Uh, uh, I'm not sure this is such a great idea. Of course it is. If we move the damp bales from the bottom out into the sunshine, they will dry out in no time at all. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Good job, Nipper. <laughs> Stronger than you look. <clears throat> um, help! Oh. Uh, <clears throat> I guess you were right, Stumpy. Not such a great idea. Should I ask? Yes, not. Can someone please get me out of here? No problem. Little Red Tractor and I will have you out of there in no time. Oh, Mr Jones, I need your help. There's a tree blocking the track through Tawny Owl Wood. We tried to move it, but Little Red Tractor's not strong enough. I'm sure Big Blue wouldn't have had a problem shifting it. Well, I was hoping the two of you would be able to clear the track. I mean, if there was an emergency and someone wanted to get through... Of course, in an emergency, no one could get through. Th there's no time to lose. Exactly. I'll get Big Blue. Don't worry. We'll save the day. What? I thought Big Blue was on holiday. Holiday? Yeah, a tractor holiday with other tractors. Come on, let's get you out of there. I think you must have bumped your head. Nicola! <laughs> Need big blue immediately. It's emergency. Emergency? Yes, emergency. Big blue and I. Only ones who can come to the rescue. Really? Uh huh. Stan's little tractor's too feeble. Uh. Oh? Well, I've just finished. Look, he's ready to go. Marvelous. Come on, big blue. Good luck! Cheerio! Looks like Stan's plan started to work. Nice and easy, little red tractor. Oh, oh, 
Oh. Oh, thanks, Stan. Any time. And thank you too, little Red Tractor. We're going to see how Mr Jones is getting on. Are you coming? Oh, oh no. <laughs> well, I've had quite enough excitement for one day. Here we go. That's it, Mr Jones. You can do it. Of course we can. Come on, Big Blue. Well done, us! Did you see that, Stan? Good job. That was a very heavy log. Oh, it was a breeze. Big Blue is so strong, and with me at the wheel, <laughs> what a team. Hmm, it's too bad you're getting rid of him. Oh, no. Change of plan, you see. Can't break up the winning team, can we? And the 501? Well, I think that everyone was right. Big Blue is more than just a tractor. I don't expect you to understand, but, um, well, um, I've really become very fond of him. You mean he's more like a friend than just a tractor? Exactly. That's it. A friend. Oh, I understand, all right. I'm sure I don't know where I'd be without my friend, Little Red Tractor. Here we go. This is the last of them. You know, it was nice of Mr Jones to lend us his kitchen chairs for the party last night. And nice of Walter to lend his cool box. You know, we're lucky to have good neighbours. Here comes one now. Brace yourself. Morning, Stumpy. <laughs> Hello, Stan. Oh, thanks. You in a hurry? A hurry? Oh, oh yes. I slept in. <laughs> Is it still OK to borrow your ladder? Of course. It's in the barn. Help yourself. <laughs> I think I overdid it at your party last night. I, I can't believe I offered to help to clean Mr Jones's windows. What was I thinking? Uh, Stumpy, you sure you don't want me to take the ladder round for you? I'm going there myself after a stop at the garage. No, no, no. I, I, I'll be fine, thanks, Stan. Bye! Whoa! Yeah, that's it, Sparky. Hold still. <laughs> Easy peasy. Cheers, Sparky. Right. Now, the rain's coming in at the front here, so the hole must be... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> this looks like it. There's a hole in my roof, dear Walter, dear Walter. Ah, it's OK, I'm here. Now we can make a start. Overslept, eh? <laughs> I don't know. I've been waiting here for ages and ages. And ages. All right, all right. I'm sorry I'm late. I must have overdone it last night. Aha! Hmm, it's a bit wobbly. Hmm. Up you scoot. Eh? Up, up. You want me to go up there? Naturally. I've thought it through, you see, and it's the best way. You up there, me down here. Mm, all right. If you're sure it's the best way. And you're going to hold the ladder steady. Hmm? What? Oh, yes, 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 of course. Yes. Oh, up. Now, where did I put that new tarpaulin? Aha! It's always in the last place you look. Right, let's get this lot covered up and tied down, then round to Walter's. Gore! <laughs> you should have been a builder, not a mechanic. You've done a lovely job there, Walt. Whoa! Hey! Wait up, Nicola! I need to get... Down. Oh, no. Oh, this is no use. I can't see a thing from down here. I know. I'll go upstairs and then I can keep an eye on him from inside. Make sure he's doing it properly. Now, don't. 
Worry if you're stuck with no way to get down. Your building skills will be the talk of the town. Where you fix the roof, it's waterproof. So sing along with water and don't you frown. Walter? Oh, uh, yeah, hello down there. What are you doing? Well, um, <coughs> yeah, uh, I was fixing the roof and, uh, and now, well, I'm, I, I'm stuck. Here, you couldn't help me down, could you, Stan? I've been up here for ages. Oh, I'm sure Little Red Tractor and I can find a way to get you down. Good, good. Just the job. Oh, Stumpy, um, <clears throat> you've missed a bit. I thought you were holding the ladder steady. What? I said I thought you were holding the ladder steady. I can't hear a word. I said you missed a... Ah! Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, why do these things always happen to me? How are you getting on, Walter? Yeah, now that's got it. Uh, ready when you are! Right, forward. Nice and slow now. That's it. Just a little further. Perfect. Hold still, little red tractor. We're all set here. You feeling brave, Walter? Brave is my middle name. <laughs> Here I come, ready or not, Geronimo! <laughs> well, that was great. Thanks, Stan. Thanks, little red tractor. No problem. You did the hard part. Well, now that I'm down all safe and sound, what can I do for you? I'll just pop round to return your cool box and this. You must have dropped it last night when you were dancing. My comb! Cheers! Hey, great party last night. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking good. I'd better get round to Beach Farm. I've got a few more things to return. Oh, could I catch a lift? Sure. Yoo-hoo! Oh, what to do? Yoo-hoo! Oh, who are you yoo-hooing? I was you who in you! Well, don't you who? I'm trying to think. Well, you thought of a plan to get me down yet? No. Yeah, well, if Stan were here, he'd know what to do. Well, he's not. I am, and I need to think, so I'll require a little peace and a little quiet. Oh, no, that's all I need. Hello, all. Lovely day. Hi. I brought your chairs, but... Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo, Stumpy! What's Stumpy doing up there? Well, um... Oh, no. Is that my ladder? Um, afraid so. What happened? Stumpy fell off the ladder and... I only fell off after you trapped my fingers in the window. Well, your fingers shouldn't have been there. You should have been holding the ladder. Whoa there, fellas. N um, shouldn't we be trying to get Stumpy down? He's right. The first thing to do is get Stumpy down. Ah, yes, well, I'm, uh, I've been thinking very hard, and there's absolutely no way to get him down, so he will have to stay up there till we can get a new ladder. But I want to get down now! Hold on. I think I may have an idea. We'll need that tarpaulin, Walter, and, um... Ideally, we need four people. This will never work. Sure it will. Have a little faith. There. Everyone set? Ready! Ready. Hold tight now. OK, Stumpy. Ready when you are. Oh, dear me. Go on, you can do it. Not sure he can, you know. Come on, Stumpy. On the count of three. One. Two. two. Three! Oh, here goes nothing. Whoa! 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 Hey! But I'll be. Are you okay? 
Uh, well, I'm fine. <laughs> no harm done. Well, except for the ladder, that is. I do feel a little bare, seeing as it was sort of my fault. So I'll get a new one tomorrow. That's very kind. Thanks, Mr. Jones. Uh, thank you, Stan. And thank you too, little retractor. Me and Stumpy would have been left high and dry if it weren't for the both of you. Thank you both. Oh, well, now I'd better get back to the mill. I was meant to be back in time for lunch. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Cheerio. Yeah, we'll catch you later. <laughs> 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 Hi, Walter. Ooh. Uh, 114? 115? Practicing for the farm games this afternoon? Wait, exercise can't get enough. Mad for it, I am. And a one. You need to be careful, Walter. Exercise is good, but in moderation. Not for someone at their peak. Mm, not bad. But don't you think they're a bit light? I suppose my arms are pretty strong from working on the. Walter? Yeah? What about number two? Shouldn't you be on number two by now? Nah. One's enough, Stan. No point overdoing it. Now, nah. are you after some diesel? Well, it couldn't be simpler. You set your speed here, you switch it on here, and presto. Excellent, excellent. I told Water and Stumpy that I was fitter than both of them, and now <laughs> I shall be. Can I have a go? Be my guest. However, as an expert in the field of human fitness, I would heartily recommend that. Wouldn't it? You read the instructions first. Hello, Stan. All ready for the games this afternoon? Yes, I think so. Hello. What's that? Ah, oh, yes, this is the new and improved walking machine, an easy way to exercise without moving from the spot. Is it safe? Oh, quite safe. <laughs> to understand health, one has to understand safety too. This new machine gives an all-over workout that is gentle and easy to use. I can see that. Ah, splendid. You are right, Mr. Turvey. Excellent exercise. Are you OK? Take it from me, Stan. A few brisk miles on one of these really gets the muscles moving. <laughs> I think one or two people may be taking these farm games far too seriously. Hello? Oh, hello, stop. What, again? OK, I'm on my way with Little Red Tractor. Another one of those old dead trees has fallen and blocked the lane through Heron Wood. I'd better go and move it. Oh, how embarrassing. I can't believe I made such a complete fool of myself. Oh, no harm done. These things take a bit of getting used to. <laughs> I remember once I... I know. I'll get to Heronwood first and show Stan some real muscle. Come on, Big Blue. We can get there first. I know a shortcut. Wow! It looks great, Mum. Yes, I think we've all done very well. Mum! Amy! Watch me! <laughs> Well, that wasn't very good. I bet you couldn't do any better. I could. Now, now. It's bad enough that the grown-ups are being so competitive without you starting as well. Hello, Elsie. What's all that? I thought I'd bring my old nurse's things along. Oh, you know what they're all like. Ah, there it is. Oh, you got here first. I came by the shortcut. Me too. Maybe Little Red Tractor is a little faster. Faster? Oh, no, Stan. I don't think so. <laughs> now, let me see. It seems to me this job might need a bigger, stronger tractor, Stan. Do you mind? Be my guest. It's a matter of muscle, you see, Stan. Big Blue here was made for these big jobs. Oh, I don't know. Little Red Tractor is stronger than he looks. <laughs> Perhaps we should have a contest one of these days and see which tractor really is the strongest. Maybe we shall, Mr Jones. Although, I must say, you have done a good job there. It's all about teamwork. A man and his tractor in perfect harmony. Well done, Big Blue. Hey, it'll be time for the farm games soon. we better not be late. You know how Mr. Turvey likes everything to run on time? True! We'll see you there, and may the best men win. <laughs>
Okay, Amy, Ryan, you are to be my special helpers for the farm games and I shall be a referee. We need to see fair play and keep everything organised and flowing smoothly. Understood? Yes, Dad. Dad. Oh, not Dad today. Today I am a referee. Are we ready for the first event? First event? Throwing the Wellington boot. Good, let's get to it. Competitors, first event is throwing the boot. The competitor stands up here and on the sound of my whistle throws the boot as far as he can. Clear? Ryan shall measure the distance and the player who throws the boot furthest wins. Number one, please. Three, two, one. Fourteen metres exactly. Three, two, one. Hey, hey, hey! I threw it so far I can't even see it. That's because you threw it the wrong way. Huh? Oh. Well, I think this means you are disqualified, Walter. Okay, Stumpy. Stands leading. Three, two, one. <laughs> <sighs> You're supposed to let go of the boot, Stumpy. One and a half metres. <laughs> Am I winning? Hardly. Now move along and make way for an expert. Oh, splendid! 13 metres and 80 centimetres. Second place. Test your strength is event two. First challenger, Stumpy. Stand clear. <laughs> Maximum score for Stumpy! Oh, oh. oh, I don't know my own strength. I think I might have hurt my arm, though. Well, pop along and see Elsie. She'll have a look at it for you. Second challenger, a Walter. Walter, you need a good score here after your poor performance in the boot throwing. Stand back, then. <laughs> Muscles is my middle name. Ah, no! Oh, oh. <clears throat> Mr. Jones, you're next. You are currently running in second place. Not for long. See when. When you're ready. Here we go then. Oh dear. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh... Look at you. This was supposed to be farm games. I think we should have stuck to a nice, safe board game. We still have one event to go, the tug of war. We can't very well do it now, can we? I think we'll have to cancel the games. We can't do that. The show must go on and all that. How? There is only you and me left. Wait. What about we have the tug of war between Little Red Tractor and Big Blue? Then we can see which tractor really is the strongest. Oh, I don't see why not. Excellent, excellent. Well, Stan, are you up for the challenge? All right, you're on. <laughs> Start your engines. But do not start pulling until I give the signal. What did he say? Dad, do you want me to measure anything? Stand back, Ryan. Come on, Big Blue. That's the signal. It started, Little Red Tractor. Come on. You can do it. Ooh, nearly. Come on, Big Blue. We've got them. Full power. Oh, no. We're sinking. They're too heavy. We'll have to ease off the power. Come on, Little Red Tractor. One big pull and we can do it. I can't get full power without a sinking into the mud. One last effort. Little Red Tractor is the winner! Well yeah, well done, Little Red Tractor! Well done, Little Red Tractor. I don't know how you did it, but I'm very proud of you. I am proud to announce that the winner of the farm games is... Little Red Tractor! <laughs> Of course, we could have won, but for Big Blue's tyres getting stuck in the mud... Oh, but you won fair and square. <laughs> well done. Thank you. It's like we always say, you don't have to be the biggest to be the best. Hey, Little Red Tractor? <laughs> See, the wind's picked up. 
It's okay, little red tractor. It's only me. I'm having a bit of trouble getting the barn doors open. That was a bit of a squeeze. I hope you're feeling strong this morning. That's it, little red tractor. Nice and gentle. Push harder this time. Good work. Right, we'd better get these bales tidied away before they do any damage. Then let's get the corn up to Stumpy's as soon as we can. You know, I'm not sure about this washing line of yours, Stumpy. It'll be fine, else. Besides, you were the one who insisted on washing all me clothes at once. That's why the washing line had to be so long. Well, I'm not letting my husband walk around in dirty clothes. You were filthy. <laughs> I was clean enough. Oh, how long's this gonna take? I've got to get the milling done for Mr Jones and Stan's coming round with his corn soon too. Oh, keep your shirt on. With this gusting wind, your clothes will be dry in no time. I'm really not sure about this. Just a bit further. There. Now to get that corn up to the mill. The wind really is strong. At least it does have some benefits. The wind will turn the mill faster and grind our corn to flour quicker. That way we can get paid by the bakery before the end of the day. If we're lucky. <laughs> See? When Stumpy the Miller does something, he does it right. Uh-oh. Sounds like the brake's gone. Now then, what were you saying about Stumpy the Miller doing things right? No. <sighs> well, that's really jammed the sails. I won't be milling anything today. No. And my washing's not going to be dry neither. Oh, well, I'd better go after me clothes. Oh, no. You're not going anywhere in just your undies. I'll go and find your clothes. Oh. Else, you better take Nipper. My pants could be halfway to Babblebrook by now. <sighs> That's the lot. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. <laughs> Don't worry. The trick to riding Nipper is to hold on. You know, maybe I should walk, after all. Oh, don't be daft. You'll get the hang of it. Now, to accelerate, twist the right-hand grip and, and, and to stop, the brake... Elsie! The, the brake! The brake's on the left-hand side! Oh, oh, dear. Despite that wind, it's a beautiful day for a drive. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Whoa! That was a close one. Well done, little red tractor. Nice stop. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Now, what on earth is going on? This is Stumpy's hat. I guess these must be his too. Let's go and find out what's going on. Stumpy! Why is Stumpy wearing a dress? Oh, my. Oh, I've only just washed this. Stumpy, are you all... Elsie? But what? Stan, it's a long story. Are you OK? Oh. I'm fine, but my Stumpy has gotten himself into a bit of a pickle back at the mill. He could do with a hat. Anything to do with these? How did you ever guess? We were on our way up to the mill anyway. We'll see what we can do. I've just got to have a little word with Nipper 
and then we'll see you up there. See you later, then. Now then, you. This stopping business. Stan! Stan! Oh, oh, am I glad to see you two. I heard you had a spot of bother. Windmill's stuck. There'll be no milling today unless we can unstick it. All I was trying to do was get me clothes dry. Perhaps I shouldn't have tied the washing line to the sail. I think I can see what the trouble is. Well, can, you, can you fix it? Of course. That's if Little Red Tractor is up for a bit of hard work. Right, let's get started. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you, so will you please stop messing about and start working? Why, you... Hello, Stumpy! Oh, that's a nice dress. Uh, now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Why, you little... There. OK, Little Red Tractor, let's slowly take up the slack. Oh, I hope this works. That a boy. It's moving. It's moving. Come on, little red tractor. Oh. Oh, not again. Well done, you two. Good work. Yes. Good work, little red tractor. Working like clockwork. <laughs> I'll go and put the brake back on. At least some of your clothes are dry. Oh, thanks. Perhaps I can get on with my work now. <laughs> Left leg. <laughs> right leg. Well, I'll give you a hand if you like. And up. Oh, will you, Stan? That'd be a great help. <laughs> I'd never get it done on my own. Perfect. <laughs> I knew you'd get the hang of it. Well, if that's what you call... Oh, Stumpy. Now, don't make me go and change else. Stan and I have got work to do. Come on, Stumpy. Roll up your sleeves and let's make a start. A lot. <laughs> Thanks, Stan. That'll make a lot of good bread, that will. It sure will, but that was hard work. Are you all done? Yep. Then my work can begin. No. You don't mean... I do. <laughs> you too, Stanley. Hey? <laughs> don't look at me. You should try living with her. Oh. Oh, this is much better. There's no chance of you blowing away, Little Red Tractor. 